The Bathurst Whole Food Cooperative has been going for about four years now. It was built as a cooperative that served the needs of two groups of people, producers and consumers. Any, any cooperative or collaborative model has to be able to uh, identify the essential needs that its participants want. Um, and involved in that, it needs to accept that there will be some variations, but you still have to have a core of common needs. Because in truth, you're not trying to make all of the participants look or do the same, but rather to identify truly what their common needs are. Uh, and so getting drilling down to what that core need, that core cooperative basis is, is the hardest part. One of the things I guess for cooperatives over a single person startup company is that when you've got a cooperative, you've got more people to think about solving that problem. <laughs> you've actually got more people who can contribute to the capital. And in the farm situation, I'd like to think that the farmers had a reasonable business model for managing their farm and they're not going broke, so they would actually have some money to put in as capital. So in a sense it's a pooling of resources is the first step for a cooperative, whereas you, your sort of individual startup has got to look for a kind investor to share the profits with or borrow from a bank and pay interest on them. So they're all questions about, you know, look around what resources you have just by having five people around you.